Today we are making Sorel. here welcome to my channel today I am going to make sorrel soup I started making this sorrel soup in the summer because my mother had picked up some fresh sorrel and I really wanted to start by going from the beginning of braiding the sorrel the way we do back home we braid it then we hang it to dry to dehydrate then so I am picking back up <laughs> and at this point actually the very same braid that I had made is now ready actually to be used. This particular sorrel is very tart. We don't eat it fresh and the texture of the leaves as you saw is very fabricy. It's not necessarily edible at that point. However, after dehydrating then rehydrating this with some hot water and then washing the leaves it washes off that weird tart bitterness so what you're left with with this amazingly unique aroma it's really high in antioxidants it has a lot of minerals and uh, very powerful vitamins and as well as protein and lots and lots of fiber so this is a really healthy plant to add to your diet okay it's a very basic soup not much is necessary here we have quinoa potatoes some shallots onions perfectly fine and I have some gluten-free flour here to create a thickener so that it's a thicker soup let's get to it Onions are pretty much caramelized, in fact, too caramelized. So I'll add the water right now and combine all of my ingredients. And I'll add everything here to cook. In the meantime, separately, I will try to figure out the thickener because that's not my strong suit. I actually suck at that one. So in case I fail, I don't want to mess with this pot. This is almost ready and I just adjusted my salt and pepper. You don't need much seasonings for this because sorrel is a very powerful taste. And one last thing left, which is an exceptionally 
important detail is garlic. So sorrel and garlic are meant to be together. I already have some pureed garlic that I'm going to add, but that's where we're at. So adjust it, you'll see the taste difference. And when you hit that spot that feels just right for you, then that's it. I accidentally recorded this entire section on time-lapse mode, so I guess what I'm trying to say is thank you for watching and this is delicious!